Our next question comes from David in Fort Collins. What the heck is the Palmer Divide and why is it so important to weather? Well, David, I'm going to let our skilled meteorologist Kylie Burse handle this one for you. The short answer, it's an area of higher elevation on the Colorado Plains, but the Palmer Divide is a little tricky because there aren't any actual markers or signs that show real boundaries. You can get a good look at it though when we're looking at this satellite shot, Denver to the north, the springs to the south, and it's that area you can see shaded in yellow. To get a little closer, meteorologist Corey Ruppenhagen drew out an interpretation. It includes Parker out toward the foothills, as far east as over toward Lyman, and then all the way south when we're looking at Black Forest there. The highest point is a place called Bald Mountain, and it's right on the Douglas and El Paso County line. It's about 7,800 feet, so that's quite a bit higher than Denver when we're talking about 5,280 feet. So why does this matter to forecasting? It's one of the most influential factors because of the way the air rises and sinks around it. It can create upslope in the winter, leading to higher snow totals. In the summer, it helps create the Denver cyclone, which leads to more thunderstorm activity. Subscribe to the next YouTube channel and I'll buy you a beer. Am I actually buying them a beer? This could be a very poor idea. We need some terms and conditions. Offer subject to terms and conditions.